Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Okay, Akum Kwan. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir.
Okay. Hmm. Sige. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sir Torch. Okay, maying hapon sa tanan. Good afternoon, boys. Oh, maying hapon, guys. Maying hapon. The 119 regular session sa kunya pagnusod takbayan sa kagian di ako is now call on order. Please do stand. An invocation by Councilor uh, Councilor Joylin Mercedes Palama maayong hapon kanimo kunsiala. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon everyone. Bye. Let us all bow down our heads and seek the intercession of our saints, especially of St. Ignatius of Loyola, in these very challenging times. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Lord, teach us to be generous. Teach us to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the costs, to fight and not to heal the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rests, to labor and to ask for no reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. The name Amen. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Councilor Joylin Mercedes Palaba. And for the singing of our national anthem. Kagayan di Oro March.
Hapon sa tanan. Mr. Secretary, can you do the roll call? And determine if we do have a quorum. Honorable Renner Joaquin V. Oy, City Vice Mayor and Presiding Officer. For the First District Councilors, Honorable Edna M. Dehino, Honorable J.R. Pascual. Present. Honorable Roger G. Abaday. Present. Honorable Saldi O. Ocon. Honorable George is Goking. Honorable Ruben R. Daba. Present. Honorable, Honorable Lordan G. Swan. Honorable Romeo V. Calizo. For the Second District Councilors, Honorable Joylene Mercedes El Balaba. Honorable Maria Lourdes Esgaani. Honorable Ayan Mark Yunakaya. Honorable Suzette G. Magtahas Daba. Here. Honorable Chudolfo E. Lau Jr. Honorable Enrico D. Salcedo. Honorable Jocelyn B. Rodriguez. Present. Honorable Edgar S. Cabanlas. For the ex officio members, Honorable Yan Lam is Lim, Liga ng mga Barangay President. And Honorable John Michael Elseno, City Escape Federation President. Let's go on, Mr. Presiding Officer. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. So we do have a program. So, ang hapon sa tanan. And so as our regular members of the 19th City Council, may hapon. And so as to the people, at the back and to our media friends at the back, my own hand. Ano to, anak? To, pag ano mo? So as to... Palakasin mo dito? Those who are present in their different abode via Zoom, my own hapon ka ninyo? Ang hapon. Hapon. Yes, ma'am. Majority floor leader, Ayan Mark Kiblat Nakaya. My own hapon ka ninyo, majority floor, and you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My own hapon, Usab. My own hapon. Good afternoon also to our uh, colleagues in the council present and uh, on the virtual uh, participation and uh, friends from the media. Hello, Pagayanons. May hapon. I move, Mr. Chairman, to dispense with the reading of the minutes of meeting on January 10, 2022 and to consider the furnishing with copy to every member as the reading itself. I can. In the majority floor leader. In a second, second. Correction. Is there any? Correction. Is there any? There is none. Hearing none. It is served by approval. It is served by approval. I likewise move for the approval of the second. 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 On a special report portion, Mr. Chairman, we have three members who have signified their uh, interest to render a special report, plus uh, Councillor Roger Abadai and Councillor uh, Michael Seno, if uh, given the uh, opportunity to uh, render their respective special reports. However, for councillors uh, Edna Dahino, Lordan Swan, and uh, Bebo Rodriguez, uh, on uh, the first report, uh, Councillor Dahino would like to report on uh, for clarity as regards the integrity of the city's uh, bridges due to the uh, impact of uh, floods. Uh, and uh, Councillor Lord and Swan would like to uh, pursue his uh, intention to discuss the tax am amnesty uh, proposal due to a pandemic and Councillor Bebo Rodriguez as regards uh, mental health code uh, authorship. So, Councillors Dahino, Swan, and uh, Rodriguez, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Councillor Edna Magban Dahino, may hapon ka ni Mo Ponciala, and you have the floor. Our first reporter is up there. Good afternoon. Honorable Vice Mayor Ineo. Joaquin V. Oy, uh, Uy, Ms., uh, my esteemed colleagues in this August chamber, members of the Tri Media, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My report is all about the assessment of the integrity of or the state of our bridges in our city. As we know, Mr. Chairman, the destructive power of typhoons can result in loss of life, buildings, destroyed, roads and bridges damages. Recent tropical storm Typhoon Udet produced widespread torrentials, torrential rains, which resulted in destructive floods in our city and in our neighboring provinces. In fact, since Typhoon Sindong, urban flooding is now becoming a major threat for our people living in low-lying areas. According to report file in Business News, on January 10, 2022, infrastructure damage due to Typhoon Udep 
has reached over 17.7 billion pesos, of which Northern Mindanao accounts to 178.8 million pesos. Considering that the aftermath of Typhoon Udet, as in many similar incidents since Sindong, pipila na usab kabagyo ang nilabay kanato. And it occurred to me that it may have complicated impacts on the safety and performance of our city's infrastructure, more particularly our bridges. It's a common knowledge that a lot of bridges collapse during extreme typhoons. Some of the major factors causing bridge damage during typhoons are collapse of river banks, bridge foundation, and foundation works impacted by drifting woods or rocks. Sigurado ako, Mr. Chairman, kining tanan na sinati na sa atong mga tulay kada na ay muabot nga bagyo or flash flood sa atong syudad. Idugang padiha ang material na degrade degradation like corrosion because these bridges were built long time ago or taud taud na good sub in rest, in rest. yes mr chairman at the proper time i would like to propose that an inspection of bridges or the damage investigation of bridges in our city be conducted to ascertain its strength and for safety monitoring para sa protection sa atong mga katauhan nga muagi diha sa atong mga tulay. I propose further that the lead agency will be our city engineering office in partnership with our DPWH and other experts in the field of engineering. Thank you and once again, good afternoon. Okay, thank you, Councillor Edna Marpan Dahilo for your special report this afternoon. So any wants to comment or any reaction as to it, uh, the report of our fellow legislator, legislator uh, Councillor Edna Dahino. Okay, Councillor Joylene Mercedes Palapa wants to... Yes. Thank you. I have to agree something. with Councillor Inday Dahino that we have to mm. um, inspect the integrity of all infrastructures um, mm. That must include also the uh, some um, posts, electric electric posts. No, uh, that was that has been reported by our uh, majority floor leader um, that mm. posts uh, in Bulwa na nag collapse recently. There it, na Mogyapon, I think na ay nga pag collapse isa ka electric post. Oh, uh, ipa include na pati ang electric post. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Joylene Mercedes Balaba. Any reaction? None? Well, just a simple uh, request letter coming from the City Council for the different departments, respective departments of this uh, of this proper authority about this uh, infra, especially to those bridges and so as to the Electric post that uh, uh, bring Mr. hazard. Chair, bring hazard to the to the common people. Mr. Chair, okay, Councillor, is it Councillor J? Yes, Mr. Is Chair. Okay, Councillor J. Yes. Um, I, 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 I totally okay. agree, no, okay, Councillor Inday, and the uh, ang problema din sa Interland Barangays, Mr. Chair, is ang mga dalan din hi kay nga landslide na pud ang ang mm. ang mga bukid so nay uban landslide nga gahang na ang ato ang mga dalan so wala na yuta ubos sa road so medyo hard look yud kaayo no so hopefully ma-inspect pod na apil ang mga roads nga na landslide ang ubos so ga, mura na siya gahang mura na siyag tulay na hinoon Mr. Chair ang dalan kay tungod na landslide man ang sa ubos so uh, I, I hope to include ang ato ang apil ang ato ang mga roads nga na affected sa mga landslide that's all Mr. Chair thank you okay thank you councillor J Roa Pascual so any other wants to add something about uh, Mr. Mr. Chair okay councillor Ruben Daba uh, may hapon Mr. Chair no hapon. Uh, 100 uh, sa atong mga ka kauban diha og sa 
mga bisita. Uh, 101% ko agree kay uh, Konsehala uh, Inday Marban Dahino, Mr. Chair. Unya, ang akong hangyo kung uh, subject to styling, isunod na na ito karun, Mr. Chair, kay para ma-aksyona ma na dayon sa proper nga, nga government agency, Mr. Chair. Mura na, Mr. Chair. Ugdagan salamat. Mayong hapon sa ato tanan. Okay, thank you, Councillor Ruben Taba. So, again, it is noted by our very own Secretary, Mr. Very Secretary, for the, about the special report of one of our colleagues, uh, Councillor Edna Magbandahino, about the um, um, public infrastructure resulting to any or bring hazard to the common people of Tagayan Diago, especially for as mentioned, uh, the bridges, the foundation of the bridges, and so as to the concrete posts, and so as to the roads uh, in the roads in the hinterland, Barangays, uh, proposed by Councillor J. Roa Pascual. So, well, uh, Mr. Secretary, okay, so we will uh, send directly uh, the letter of request for immediate action of this uh, report for the respective departments. So thank you, Councilor Edna Magbandahino, for your special report of yours this afternoon. So our second reporter, our second reporter, Councilor Lord Answat. Mayong hapon kanimo, you have the floor. Hmm? Okay. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ang hapon sa tanan, ladies and gentlemen. Last month, the country was battered by Odette. The president even placed Region 10 in a state of calamity. And then last week, we were put under alert level 3 because of the surge in COVID cases. Of course, the most immediate effect of this is that our economy will suffer. And the, the MSMEs, the micro, small, medium enterprises, will again bear the brunt of this damage. I'm glad that there is for inclusion proposed ordinance number 2022-2, extending the deadline of the period for, for the renewal of business license from January 20 to February 28, 2022. I hope this ordinance passes later on because I was planning on moving for the, for the extension of the deadline. So I am now therefore just reiterating my call to waive the penalties, surcharges and interests of business taxes in our city as a form of economic relief, considering that the deadline has been moved. I guess there is enough time for us to think about this measure. It was already mentioned last year by myself and by the majority leader, I think, when he made his special report. Tagaan po dunta na to option ng atong mga taxpayers na mobayad by way of staggered payment. Siguro mga osaka tuig tagaan nato sila gigayon ana and of course sa atong mga kabus the market vendors akong baliko ng akong hangyo ni aging tuig nga unta tangtango na nato sa karong panahon na tungod sa pandemic ang penalties surcharges and interests sa ilang late payment sa rent o siyempre apil na pod sa kaning business fees after all what are we in this world for except to make life easier for our fellow men? Kana lang, Mr. Chair. Thank you. May hapon. Okay, thank you, Councillor Lord and Swan. So, any reaction? Any reaction for the Committee on Trade? Okay, Councillor George Gooking. A reaction coming from the Committee Chairman on Trade. And so as our economic um, commerce and trade, okay, 
thank you, uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Majority Floor Leader, and to all my colleagues and uh, media friends in uh, Atibak, and to all the people of Kagendiro, especially the business sector for being uh, hardly hit by the, by the past two years on the pandemic. Uh, we, are, we were proposing the ordinance as Chairman of Ways and Means. I think it has been agreed upon by uh, the majority, by Vice Mayor Kikang Uy. Uh, it was already forwarded that uh, we will be in due time. Uh, we will suspend the uh, presumptive uh, tax of 12%. Aside from the approval of our extension uh, for the renewal of the business licenses uh, in uh, the proper time, we'd like to move as Chairman Ways and Means to spend the 12% presumptive tax, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, may happen. Okay, thank you, Councillor George Cooking, the Committee Chairman on Ways and Means, and so as to the trade and commerce. Okay, Majority Floor Leader, Ayan Marky Blad Nagaya. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, uh, the report of uh, Councillor Lorden Swan was uh, cognizant to the proposal of uh, Councillor uh, uh, George Gooking, the chair of the Committee on Ways mm. and Means, because uh, I've just signed earlier. I don't have a copy yet, but uh, Councillor Gooking has a copy of his uh, proposal that uh, fixes the presumptive in income level of all business establishment in Cagayan de Oro City for uh, this year, uh, two years uh, back, so that uh, if implemented by the city treasurer, uh, there would be no increase or adjusted uh, uh, rates, uh, Mr. Chairman, because uh, it has a two, two year uh, uh, backward of uh, the income that has been, uh, that is supposed to be assessed by the city treasurer's office. So congratulations to uh, Councillor George Cooking for, for this uh, uh, proposal. So mm -hmm. I understand that we already have that. Uh, I just uh, received my copy. And uh, as regards other measures that uh, were jointly proposed by uh, Councillor Swan and uh, this representation together with the members of the majority who reacted positively uh, in fact, uh, we passed resolutions at the committee level. Uh, Councillor Gooking also presided uh, this uh, uh, meeting. And uh, there is an opinion and the position of the executive duly signed by the city mayor. I would like to submit, uh, Mr. Chairman, that it be forwarded to all members of the council so that uh, all members will know the position of the executive. Uh, but be as it may, Mr. Chairman, uh, there is a need. There is a need that uh, we have to act for the people of Cagayan de Oro. And uh, whether or not uh, it is, it has an op opposing uh, position of uh, that of the executive uh, as a legislative body, uh, we should uh, take a stand as regards uh, matters uh, for the people. So I am one with uh, the proposal of Councillor Gooking, which we will uh, consider later. And of course, the proposal of uh, the chief executive as regards extending. This is a regular uh, uh, function of the city government, Mr. Chairman. If uh, we cannot uh, process all the renewal of business permits up to the 31st of January, we always extend our uh, renewal of business permit up to February 28th and sometimes extended further. Uh, however, the chief executive has uh, given already his uh, premature and uh, advise us that uh, we should extend. So that's a good signal for all uh, the business uh, people of uh, Cagayan de Oro. As regards the proposal of Councillor Gooking, in due time, we will uh, endorse that for uh, submission and agreement of the uh, members of the council, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Majority Floor Leader. I am Mark Kiblat. And so as there is uh, also a, a letter coming a letter of urgency coming from the chief executive no uh, coming from mayor oscar moreno and so as to the chamber of commerce so kagian the chamber of commerce chaired with signed by their chairman efren t Uy. yes uh, mr i hope you have, you have you have a copy 
about the letter of request for this any businesses uh, it's attached in the uh, uh, proposal of, of the so, city mayor so uh, attached by the proposal of the city mayor about this business tax uh, so, at the proper time uh, mr chairman okay thank you majority floor leader so i hope uh, it is uh, clear it out about this uh, special report okay councilor lord and swan Thank you, Mr. Chair. So what about the penalties, surcharges, and interests on the business taxes? We only touched upon the 12% presumptive tax. I still don't, uh, don't see how it could uh, waive the penalties. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, as I have uh, proposed earlier that uh, the letter of the, the city mayor uh, discusses uh, all the proposals of the uh, members of the council and uh, resolutions of the committee on the ways and means uh, duly presided by uh, Councillor George Go King. And uh, all these have been uh, taken, uh, of course, uh, aback, considering that uh, the position of the executive is uh, uh, not favorable. But however, as a counter, Mr. Chairman, uh, we have in our uh, additional uh, item, again proposed by Councillor George Cooking, uh, to consider later. And uh, considering that uh, we just received the letter issued by the city mayor addressed to Councillor George Cooking in reply to the three resolutions that uh, the committee had passed, which we were part of these uh, discussions and uh, uh, which we also enacted during that committee meeting, uh, this uh, position of the executive should be referred again to the uh, committee of uh, ways and means for uh, appropriate action. Uh, we don't end there, Mr. Chairman. We only uh, took cognizance for now and proposed as part of this uh, agenda for consideration two matters. And the other matters, uh, Mr. Chairman, which are on the three resolutions opposed by the city mayor, uh, be forwarded to uh, the Committee on Ways and Means. Okay, Mr. thank you, Majority Floor Leader. So at this Mr. moment Chair, of time, to discuss it more further. May I ask if this is the letter that the, minority, the Majority Floor Leader is referring to? Uh, the one dated November 10, 2021? Yes, yes. yes. I read the resolution and also the, the opinion of the mayor. And he mentions in this regard, section 276 of the local government code. So that is the reason for his denial of our resolution number 03-2021. Or was it 02-2021? for the condemnation of the surcharges and penalties of delinquent taxpayers in the city. However, it only mentions about real property taxes. It doesn't mention about the um, business taxes, which means that um, the mayor did not really deny our request for um, Condonation of the business taxes. Can, can kindly read further on the item yes. two. That yes, would, item uh, treat uh, the business taxes. Which uh, which paragraph, sir? As regards his discussion on item two, because uh, the resolution is entitled, Mr. Chairman, resolution favorably recommending to the local finance committee through its chair, chairperson, city budget officer, to consider the adoption of in incentives incentivization program proposed by the Oro Chamber Commerce and Industry Foundation so as to grant incentives or rebate to those taxpayers making advance payments of their tax obligations with the city government. In relation to the proposal on tax condemnation on, of the surcharges and penalties of delinquent taxpayers and for this purpose to submit its recommendation uh, to the committee for appropriate action. That is why, uh, Mr. Chairman, I asked... Uh, and uh, propose that it be again uh, tested and discussed at the committee level 
uh, so it, that the okay. oral chamber and uh, all those uh, parties who were involved when we have enacted this resolution will also be uh, invited uh, to hear them as regards uh, the executive uh, issuance uh, duly mm. signed by the city mayor. Okay, so that's my point. And uh, as regards the question of uh, Councillor Swan, uh, it's uh, already in in the gist of uh, the discussion of the city mayor. Mr. Okay. Chair, I would like to respectfully disagree because resolution number 02 2021 is different from resolution number 03 2021. Resolution number 03 2021 refers to the incentivization program. It does not deal directly with the condonation of the surcharges and penalties. And the reason of the mayor for Resolution number 02 2021 for its denial thereof was section 276 of the local government code, which actually refers to real property tax. But I guess we could just um, discuss this further in the Ways and Means Committee, because this is going to be a very long discussion. That, that is why the that is why, as mentioned by the majority of law leaders, so to discuss it more further and so as to 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 bring the proper uh, authority, especially the Chamber of Commerce, to hear and to have uh, we give a proper time, due time, and so as they air their sentiments and so as other uh, want to know the government, especially for the implementation of taxes. So this matter to discuss it more further and deliberate it more further, we have to discuss it on the committee chair on chaired by Councillor. Uh, George Hugo King to the Trade and Commerce. Yes. Uh, respectively. So, again, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Special report, Councillor Lord and Swan, to discuss it more further from the letter coming from the mayor and so as the Chamber of Commerce. So, Councillor George Hugo King. And thank you, Majority Floor Leader. I am Mark Kiblat Nakayat and so as to the Chairman of the Committee on Trade, Ways and Means and Trade and Commerce, chaired by Councillor George Hugo King. Uh, we it to you. Okay. The safety secretary advised me that uh, Councillor uh, Bebot Rodriguez would like to uh, uh, postpone or yeah. uh, cancel, withdraw her uh, intention to um, render a special report, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes. And okay. uh, if considered, uh, Councillor Roger Abad, I would like to render a special report or Councillor uh, Michael Seno. Or otherwise, uh, we will uh, ask the two gentlemen to uh but, wait for the next session mr chairman okay well, well since uh there is a withdrawal of a special report as scheduled uh maybe we can be, councillor roger abadai yes mr we chairman have to hear it first Hello. then we can go on later and discuss it okay councillor roger abadai you know, you all, uh, you are you prepared okay, thank you for, thank you very much Thank you very much for the time uh, giving me to present my special report to this, uh, today's session. First of all, I would like to uh, greet all of my colleagues who are in the virtual space and in the gallery, especially the presiding officer. Good afternoon. Our uh -huh. friends from the media and all people who are watching us in the virtual space. Uh, now, my report is about uh, a shortage of pharmaceutical products uh, for flu or fever this time of Omicron or COVID-19 pandemic. Now, uh, in Kage and Euro, we observe uh, shortage, uh, especially people, and there are several people are suffering flu and colds. So there's a lack of uh, supply in the pharmaceutical uh, stores. No? Now, in national school, a group of healthcare companies and the Secretary of Department of Trade Industry, Ramon Lupis, confirmed last week, no? that was January 11 in this uh, uh, news, no? that Biogesic, Decolgen, Racetomol, and other popular brands have run out of stocks due to extraordinary demands. 
Again, guys, karun naka hilanap, naka ubo, no? Uh, cup, hold on cup, no? So, wala kayo stuck. You notice, we notice that. No? So, it trended in the social media site, Twitter, as the consumers uh, complaining about the lack of supply. So, not only in Cagayan de Oro, but nationwide, no? Now, some drug stores in some areas, in the country and, in, and even in well, no, some other places, posted in their stores, walang stock. Uh, Biogesic, Bioplu, Tosiran, and all other medicines for flu and fever are symptoms of COVID-19 and Omicron, according to expert. Huh? Now, with this heightened vigilance against Omicron variant, a number of people getting sick due to various reasons, the DOH and DTI, uh, this is our call, no? must assure the public that there is no shortage in these medical products. Now, public must be assured not to resort to hoarding or panic buying. So we will also ask the drug stores to limit the purchase quantity just to prevent panic buying. Okay. Uh, now, in view of these uh, incidents, I am uh, referring this uh, special report to the Chairman on Health and Field Committee or other related uh, committee to deal with this matter urgently for assurance that public, especially uh, during this pandemic uh, period. So I am... Uh, inviting uh, the term, this chairman no? that to invite the DOH, the DTI, to shed light on this issue uh, so that uh, medicine supplies, as I've mentioned, is always available in our uh, drug stores in the city of Cagayan de Oro, Mr. Chairman. So, in the proper time, I, I would like to refer this to this uh, uh, special report to the concerned uh, committees, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Roger Abade, of your special report. I think the um, one that you mentioned about the scarcity, about the scarcity of these, uh, what do you call this one? As you mentioned, any tablets there could be an update. There, uh, okay, Councillor George Booking, there, um, there is an update. I think. Uh, salamat, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, and to all my colleagues. Uh, for the information of my colleague, uh, Kagawad uh, Abaday, we have already discussed this three weeks ago. And we have monitored together with my partner, uh, Chairman on Health, uh, the problem of paracetamol. We already called a meeting between the DOH, DTI, including even the DA on their agricultural products, and the findings on the paracetamol Number one, uh, there is uh, so much vaccination program ongoing. There is buying. Remember, every day we have thousands of vaccinated uh, citizens. So, na, na, na kulangan. so we went deeper and we talked with Attorney Egaiwe of the City Price Coordinating Council, Department of Trade and Industry, and Mr. Paraluman from the FDA Department of health. Ang nahitabo di ani, pag walay branded nga paracetamol, ang nga tao di na mato sa generics. But there are available generics brand. Ang problema po, mato sa mga dagko nga mga pharmacies, walay stock, di na mato sa gagmay nga mabutika. So, with the help of the MOPA, Misamis Oriental Pharmacies Association, and the rest of the team, Naga uh, joined sila, uh, JMC joined the uh, memorandum circular, even on prices. But the problem is, we went deeper, like monitor ta, the shipment from Manila to Cagayan, Barado. So there was an assurance from Unilab, supplier sa uh, paracetamol, na this week down, about, there is another delay. So, so my colleague, uh, the City Council is handling this very well. Ang problema lang, the supply, ang, uh, morag, this is a nationwide problem. 
but they are we are trying to make things uh, to make uh, make both ends meet the transportation to Kagen de Oro. Uh, as chairman on trade and commerce, we have been offered if there is a need to lift the uh, product, bring the products to Cagayan through the C-130. So wala man, so that means okay. So everything is under control, but we are monitoring the supplies on a daily basis, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, daghang salabat. Uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. So in short, it is already stable. Mr. Chair. Oh, okay. Can, can, Mr. I react, Chair. can I react, Mr. Chair? Okay, okay. Can I, can I? Okay, react? Councilor Gobendaba, Councilor Gobendaba. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chair. No, uh, po kayo ang gibuhat ni Councilor uh, George Booking. Uh, in addition lang sa ni Mr. Chair, para sa ato mga kaigsuna no nga dili gid kay sila magpanik kay grasya og kaloy sa Ginoo Mr. Chair kumo duol lang sila sa atong mga health center daghan kaayo ang atong paracetamol diha and then ang kanag yung kuan gyud niya nga tambal kanang penilalamin na agya pontay generic ana sa atong mga health center so salamat kay Mr. Chair salamat kita kay Councilor uh, uh, Roger Abada nga gipakuan ni kay para makakalma sa atong mga kaigsuonan nga naagyod andam ang atong health center o ang atong city health uh, dagan kita ng mga generic na paracetamol o penilalamin mo ka na siya ang kanang para sa sa, sa sipon may nana so mura na Mr. Chair o dagan kayong salamat so, okay. uh, Mr. Chair uh, may, may, may uh, can I react with your chair okay Councilor Roger Gabaday okay, so, thank, you much, uh, thank you very much of uh, that uh, kind of update, no? but it remains a problem, Mr. Chair. Uh, we, uh, the problem here is uh, the availability. Uh, it does not mean that we are uh, past an atom vaccination and there is a shortage, then we do not find solution. So I, I'm, I'm say urgent because people are uh, in need. No? Uh, they are in need because of uh, this uh, uh, during this pandemic, Mr. Chair. So there is a need on the part of the uh, city of Cagayan de Oro to uh, com uh, inform the public if we have available medicines like what I have uh, mentioned in our health center, supposed to be the barangay officials should have to uh, uh, facilitate that oh, to the to the residents, oh. there is a need of uh, massive information so that people people now are they're they're panic because uh, they cannot buy they cannot secure medicines uh what i mentioned mr chairman so there is an urgency that uh, there is an availability of medicine as early as possible mr chair so i know that uh, the active uh reaction of the committee but there is a need to follow up of this situation. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Councillor Roger Abaday. Okay. Okay, Councillor Edna Magbandahino, and so as lastly, the committee chairman on health, Maria Lord Thank okay, you, Mr. Chairman. Councillor Edna Magbandahino. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, okay. As far as I understand, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, the way kanang sa problema nga gi raise ni councilor Abaday nga wala diha so ako na iklaro mr chairman that um, the branded ones uh, i think moy wala yes the generic yes. are here nah. na I yes. So, so, yes to make it clear mr chairman uh are masabtan sa tumaka katawhan kay murag dili masabtan so in short generic nga maka, makatambal gyapon sa hilanat makatambal gyapon sa unsa gabation sa branded then there's no problem Mr. Chairman because there is a generic nga nga mga tambal available Mr. Chairman kay kung maingon tag dili available makahadlok kini sa Mr. Chairman so wala lay available sa mga branded nga mga tambal but in the same manner na ay tambal pero di lang branded but they have the same effect Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm, okay. Thank you, Councillor Edna Magban Dahino. Okay. Okay. Councillor Maria Lourdes Gaani. 
May ngapon ka na itong tanan. In addition, I okay. agree with uh, Councilor Abaday no, na for the past two weeks, I think, there was shortage, sa pa, especially para Setamol, especially Biogesic. Kaya muna siya ang napangitaon. They thought na it's, if it's uh, branded, it's effective. So, na, na yung nagpanik ba yung yun anang Biogesic? Pero for the record, I myself, I bought 60 tubs biogesic kagabi ilang sa <laughs> market. So, ako na utan ako kung naan available, naan ay available karon sa market. It's it, siguro considering na ang nagmanifest ang atong committee chair na na problema sa pag uh, shipment dini. Siguro isa na siya sa mga factor ng atong consider. Pero as far as availability sa tambal, uh, Uh, sa ubo, sa sipon, and paracetamol, naana na siya karoon sa market. Thank you and may hapon. Okay, so it is already addressed. Thank you, Councilor Maria Lourdes Cani for the update. So, well, for the scarcity issue, it could be stabilized this uh, week since uh, the uni Unilever also is a uh, promising. A uh, Unilab, Unilab. Um, Uh, the Unilab uh, also is promising that they, uh, the supply will be arriving this uh, this week. So, so, so I think there is uh, already a solution of this issue about the scarcity and so as to the supply and demand of these uh, uh, medicines. Okay, thank you, Councillor Roger Abaday. For thank you very much. Uh, And so on to our um, uh, fellow colleagues um, in the city council. So maybe later on, maybe for uh, some other time, uh, Councillor John Michael Seno uh, um, about the report of yours. So majority floor leader for our agenda and Thank to you. the orders of the day. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Uh, for item number one, we have proposed resolution number 2022-20, returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Bisigandi City, it's ordinance number 02 series of 2021, covering its supplemental budget number one for calendar year 2021 with an estimated income of 714,781 pesos. With the information that said ordinance is operative in its entirety. Move for its approval, Mr. Chairman. Properly moved by the majority law. Second. The second. Seconded. Objection. Objection, hearing none. Hearing none. Resolution number 2022-20 is hereby approved. Move to dispense second final reading. Dispense for its finality. Seconded. For item two and three, omnibus motion two is proposed resolution number 2022-21. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay number 38, this city, it's ordinance number 01 series of 2021. Three, proposed resolution number 2022-22. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay No. 3060 City, it's Ordinance No. 3, this 2021, Series of 2021, covering its respective annual budgets for calendar year 2022 with, an, with their respective incomes, estimated incomes with the information that said ordinances are operative in their entirety. Move for its approval, Mr. Chairman. Move. Second. Objection. Objection? None? None. Resolution number 2022-21 is hereby approved. Move, move to dispense second final dispense reading. Dispense for its finality. Second. Seconded. Number four is proposed resolution number 2022-23. Uh, okay. uh, sorry. Uh, including uh, item number three. Uh, okay. Resolution no, we, number... We, we have not yet uh, included uh, three, uh, Mr. Chairman, considering that... Uh, uh, Okay. 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 So, including the resolution number 2022-22, properly moved and seconded. And so, as there, since there is no objection, so it is served by approved. It is served by approved. Hearing no objection, it is served by approved. So, for its finality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. <laughs> We also include the uh, item number four for approval, Mr. Chairman. Okay, also included well, item number four. So, 
O ganun ni boss proposal, kami po na majority floor leader, uh, item 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 4. So, okay. Lagi, lagi. I will repeat. Okay, I will repeat. Huh? So, we already approved. Number 2 uh, and number 3. Resolution number 2022-22. Resolution number 2022-23. Properly moved and seconded. Uh, and it is by approved and so as for its finality properly move for its finality by the majority floor leader and seconded objection objection none hearing none hearing none it is by approved who do dispense second final reading uh, second a, uh, okay, okay for its okay. finality okay second number five is a proposed resolution number 2022-24 accrediting the Canada one farmers multi-purpose cooperative CAFAMCO for purposes of its membership in the local special bodies, first one to the ILG Memorandum Circular Number 2019-72 and Article 64, Rule 13 of the Rules and Regulations Implementing the 1991 Local Government Code or funding its project from the city or other sources as required under the COA Circular pertinent there to move for its approval, Mr. Chairman. Properly move with the majority floor leader and second. second. Objection. Objection. Hearing none. Hearing none. Resolution number 2022-24. Properly moved and seconded. It is served by approved. The dispense and final reading. Dispense for its finality. Seconded. Number six is proposed ordinance number 2021-1, providing for the community-based mental health program and delivery system in Cagayan de Oro City and for other purposes. Uh, before we introduce a motion, Mr. Chairman, may we ask the chair to recognize the uh, author, Councillor Maria Lourdes S. Gan. Okay, our author... Uh, Maria, I Councillor move, Maria Lourdes Gani. Okay, okay. You I have move to for the deferment of the proposed ordinance number. Uh, okay. Number 2022 does one. Does one. one. Considering that uh, there are um, we, the CSWD has um, na pa mga provisions nga gusto nila ikon and there are issues to be resolved. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Councillor Maria Lourdes Gani. So, ordinance number 2022-1, since the committee sponsor, uh, that could be a friendly deferment. So, ordinance number 2022-1 is deferred. For inclusion, Mr. Chairman, we have items 7, 8A, 8B, and uh, 9. Okay. Move for their inclusion, Mr. Chairman. For inclusion, any second? Second. second. Okay. Majority floor leader, you may not proceed. Number seven is proposed ordinance number 2022-2, extending the deadline of the period for the renewal of business license in Cagayan de Oro City from January 20, 2022 to February 28, 2022. Certified urgent. Uh, move for its approval, Mr. Chairman. Properly moved by the majority floor leader. Second. Second. Ordinance number 2022-2. Uh, properly moved and seconded. Objection. Objection. None. Hearing none. It is actually approved. Move to dispense second final reading. Dispense for its finality. Second. 8A is proposed omnibus motion for A and B. A, proposed resolution number 2022-25, commending Mr. Jamel Sarip, laborer at the Kogon Public Market, the city, for his remarkable honesty of returning a lost Wallet with cash, IDs, and important documents to its rightful owner last uh, January 15, 2022. Thereat. B. Proposed resolution number 2022-26, commending Mr. Cesar Kutamura, laborer at Pugon Public Market, the city for his remarkable honesty returning a lost wallet with cash, medicines, and important documents to its rightful owner last July 16, 2022. Thereat. Attached copies copy of uh, the letter of the CED manager informing us of these uh, remarkable acts of the two gentlemen Mr. Chairman move for the approval of items 8A and B properly with the majority floor leader and second and objection 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 none hearing none and apa gid ni ngonan you butan oh since there is no objection of the wrong, it is my approved resolution number 2022 that's 25. Well, resolution number 2022 that's 26 is my approved. Move to dispense second final reading. Dispense for its finality. Second. Seconded. Seconded. 
Number nine is proposed ordinance number 2022, the three fixing the assessment or the presumptive income level PIL of all business establishments in Cagayan de Oro City based on calendar year 2021 business renewal assessment of gross sales as basis for the computation of basic taxes in the renewal of business licenses for calendar year 2022, only due to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Move for its approval, Mr. Chairman. Properly moved with a majority floor of leader. Second. Seconded objection. Objection? Hearing none? Hearing none. It is survey approved. Ordinance number 2022-3. Survey approved. Automatic na na. Uh, na na nila. And uh, thank you, Councillor George Gooking. Move to dispense with the second final reading. For its finality. Second. second. There being no other pending before this uh, August body, Mr. Chairman, move to adjourn. Session adjourned.